and welcome to the eFresh.com Fruit, Vegetables and Potato News. Today is the 24th of November. My name is Kim and these are this week's headlines. USDA designates disaster areas. More insect infestations in California. China to purchase Taiwan farm products. Potato prices doubled in India. Biopesticides markets grow strongly. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has designated 79 counties in Mississippi as primary natural disaster areas due to losses caused by the combined effects of severe spring and fall flooding and summer drought that occurred March 1, 2009 and continuing. President Obama and I understand these conditions caused severe damage to the area and serious harm to farms in Mississippi and we want to help, said Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack. This action will help provide hundreds of farmers who suffered significant production losses to a wide variety of crops including corn, cotton, rice, soybeans, wheat, pasture and forage crops. Farm operators in Kemper, Neshoba and Newton counties in Mississippi also qualify for natural disaster assistance because their counties are contiguous. California state agriculture officials have found two insect infestations in northern San Diego County and have expanded existing and established new quarantine areas. The quarantine measures are intended to minimize the spread of the Asian citrus psyllid and the Mediterranean fruit fly. After the pest was trapped in the Valley Center area, an already existing 7,500 square mile psyllid quarantine covering parts of three counties was expanded by nearly 1,000 square miles. The psyllid can have a fatal effect on lemon and orange trees. Partly overlapping the psyllid quarantine area is nine square mile area near Fallbrook. There, three Mediterranean fruit flies were trapped. The fly poses a danger to citrus plants and other fruits and vegetables. China's largest retail chain is expected to buy 1.25 billion new Taiwan dollars worth of agricultural products from Taiwan through the end of 2010 the single largest such purchase made by a Chinese entity in Taiwan. The commitment was made by a delegation of the All-China Federation of Supply and Marketing Cooperatives, which consists of representatives of cooperatives in 12 Chinese provinces and cities and 13 businesses and is currently on a procurement mission in Taiwan. Contracts for some of the targeted products were signed in Taipei between the two delegates and Taiwan's agricultural organizations. The first monthly data released by India showed inflation more than doubled to 1.34% in October compared to 0.5% a month earlier, as essential food items turned costlier. Interestingly, the build-up inflation in the financial year so far was 6.13% compared to 5.99% in the corresponding period of the previous year. On an annual basis, prices of potatoes have doubled since October last year, while onions were expensive by 37%. At the same time, other items like vegetables were costlier by 23%, sugar 45%, and wheat by 13.22%. The biopesticides market in Western Europe and North America is growing strongly. The increasing demand for chemical-free crops, paralleled by the expansion of land for organic farming, has led to augmented usage of biopesticides. New analysis from Frost & Sullivan finds that the market earned revenues of $590.4 million in 2008 and estimates this to reach $1,020.2 million in 2015. The following markets are covered in this research. Microbial biopesticides, beneficial insects, and biochemical pesticides. Thank you for watching the eFresh.com Fruit, Vegetables, and Potato News. See you next time.